Rule number seven, training and coaching for Robert's Rules of Innovation, the imperatives and how to create and sustain innovation. Training and coaching, think about that. How would you be able to start a serious innovation effort without the proper training and coaching about the overall process of the new product development process, the ideation process, and all the other imperatives? And so it is important, first of all, to recognize that this needs to be in place. Now, on training and coaching, it's important that people get trained and coached, but most importantly, trained first on the process that you try and want to implement within the organization. I can give you a good example of a large company that went all out on a great innovation effort led by the CEO, but they, they had failed to train their, all their product managers on project management. So after a half a year, they had to go back and train uh, the product managers and marketing, et cetera, on project management first to go back and reinvent or re-energize the innovation effort. Now, the coaching element is important in that you coach each other, the successful, the winning teams, and the, the teams that have succeeded already, the newer teams, and that the, that the best practices get carried on. It's important that best practices get observed and gathered and that you ultimately really work towards next practices, what is even better than best. So training and coaching, an important element not to be forgotten to really support, first of all, educate people in the total process, but then keep giving them reminders and help and tools to, to bring up their performance. Training and coaching, rule number seven for Robert's Rules of Innovation. For actionable tips, and a full description of each imperative, please visit robertsrulesofinnovation.com. For additional resources, visit innovationcoach.com, your gateway to innovation. <laughs>